Well, lots of excitement and anticipation on this Oscar night, but the waiting didn't last long for one nominee. Actress Jennifer Connelly received the very first award of the night. She was named Best Supporting Actress for her role in A Beautiful Mind. The next major award was somewhat of a surprise to some people. Actor Jim Broadbent took Best Supporting Actor. He co-starred with Dame Judi Dench in Iris. And until tonight, only one African-American had ever won an Oscar for a lead role. Now that number has tripled. Actress Halle Berry was stunned and tearful as she accepted her award for the Best Actress. She is the first African-American actress to win a lead actress Oscar. And nice guy Denzel Washington won Best Actor for his role as a corrupt cop in Training Day. He also you know, had a Best Supporting Actor from, award um, for Glory. Former child actor Ron Howard won a directing award for A Beautiful Mind, and that movie also took top honors for Best Picture. And for the very first time ever, actor-director Woody Allen attended the Academy Awards, and he revealed his unusual way, sort of, of preparing Let for tonight's speech. I, I didn't write it out, but I, I thought about it in my shower for uh, over two weeks. I kind of put it together in my mind, and then I started to get the panicky feeling that without hot water coming down on my back, I was not going to be able to do it. I thought I wasn't going to make it up the steps. <laughs> but God, just don't let me embarrass my mother. <laughs> I just felt relaxed, you know, and, and I've been to the dance a few times, and I knew it was out of my hands, and, you know, I've done what I could do as an actor, and uh, I just appreciate the fact that the Academy recognized me this time. Actors Sidney Poitier and Robert Redford were honored for lifetime achievements. Parts of Chicago had the feel of Hollywood on Sunday night. Movie buffs watched the Academy Awards at the Oscar parties across the city. The Chicago Academy for the Arts Benefit Board hosted the official celebration. Chicago was one of 38 cities picked by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences to hold an official Oscar party. Partygoers made their predictions and partied like the celebrities, kind of. <laughs> and our Oscar coverage kind of. does not end here. Don't worry. A little later, ABC7 film critic Roger Ebert joins us live from Hollywood with his reaction to the awards.